We're here with Linwood head coach Jed Stugert on National Signing Week. Coach, uh, it's been a long time. It's, it's good to see you again. It's great to be uh, back talking to you about football again. It seems like the season just ended, but you guys are a little over two months out now. Tell me a little bit of how the offseason's gone, um, not just recruiting, but just kind of, you know, getting in your first offseason here at Lindenwood. Well, I feel like, first of all, you know, we, we, we got a quick start, I think, you know, uh, in our offseason. I think last year we kind of had to get here. We had to kind of get all that organized. We got a late start to our offseason workouts. Uh, we were getting our strength program set up, you know, and, and to – it's just a different vibe because we were able to be on our schedule. We've got, you know, we've got in the weight room uh, much quicker earlier. We're, we're on our winter workouts right now a lot sooner than we did last year. So that, it feels good. It feels like we're kind of getting the way we like to do things, uh, uh, you know, um, a little bit more this year than we did last year, just trying to catch up. On National Signing Week now, um, been a lot of work for you guys in the off season and you're your uh, crew, obviously, doing a lot of good things around. As you guys mentioned, I mentioned this to you uh, during the Jed Stugart show we used to do, um, is how you want to stay true to the Lou and get a lot of guys from St. Louis and around here to stay home and play. You guys now got 12 recruits from St. Louis here, 18 from Missouri. It's got to make you feel good in your first year. Well, yeah, I think last year we had to get in here and just kind of start just getting out to schools. We didn't have a chance to have kids in camps and things like that. And, and I, so now, you know, being able to target a lot of kids in, in the summer, uh, in the spring recruiting and, and in our summer camps. And I think, you know, what, what I really feel like, you know, when you really evaluate the success of a recruiting class, it's, it's how many guys did you target and how many guys did you sign from the start to finish. And I think, uh, you know, the percentage of kids that we signed today um, is so high of the guys that we targeted. And, and I think, you know, you know, what I'm excited about is, you know, the criteria that we put on our players is, is on our recruits is we're going to, is high character kids, co kids that coaches say have great work ethic, they're trustworthy. And, um, you know, it's not all about highlight videos. And, and um, you know, I think that's what's got us so excited is just the quality of kids that we recruited that happen to be really good athletes. And also on both sides of the football, I have here all the breakdown of how many guys you got. You got five running backs, 13 defensive backs, you know, uh, two wide receivers, seven linebackers. So you kind of even things out on both sides of the ball. Yeah, and, and, you know, we signed a bunch of old linemen, too. I think, you know, that's really where, um, you know, we wanted to keep emphasizing is in the trenches. We did well in the old line, D line. And, um, you know, we had we had a lot of grad. you know, we graduated a big class. Um, we had some guys that have moved on and we were able we had to pick up some guys mid year um, and then and then really focused, uh, you know, on, on wrapping up this high school class, which, uh, um, yeah, I, th I think we have to, we had to balance some things out there, but especially in the trenches, you know, uh, bigger, uh, stronger, um, uh, athletic uh, offense, defensive linemen is what we're excited about. Go through some of these players. One of the main guys, Man Magruder, uh, Rittner High School, uh, was actually 11th overall in the area in scoring, had 39 touchdowns. And uh, he got him on defense coming up, but he's an athlete that could kind of go on both sides of the ball. What did you see out of him coming out of high school? Well, first first off, I mean, you know, when we, we scoured the city and, and every time we were home uh, for home games, we were out Friday nights look, watching games live. We were... We were present, um, you know, just talking to people randomly. Uh, man's a good example of, you know, every. It doesn't matter who you talk to about man. Um, it was about leadership, about uh, character, about, um, you know, uh, whether he's an at, talking to friends with athletes in the school, non-athletes, uh, administrators. I mean, you know, when you when you hear things like that, um, that's what really impressed me about him as just a type of quality person he is, and and that's really. Uh, it resembles the kids that we sign. And so excited about man, a great athlete, can play a lot of different positions. And so that's what we recruited him as. You just never know where he's going to end up. You got Tavion Weary, too, another kid from St. Louis, Fianni High School. It's actually my dad's alma mater, which is cool. Um, he had 10 total sacks last year, and just a beast on the defensive line. You add him uh, with guys like Jonathan Harris. I mean, that's going to be scary. Yeah, you know, um, you know, Tavion's a guy that, you know, if he was two inches taller, um, you know, uh, you, you know. I think people get wrapped up in height, and, and uh, we just fortunately we don't get wrapped up in height. Uh, you know, he's got a huge heart, great kid, heck of a football player, and uh, you know, we another kid that you know in spring in uh, in our summer camps, you know, uh, 
getting building that relationship uh, early uh, and and uh, you know he just felt the trust with us and and uh, had some opportunities and even some bigger opportunities just you know felt like this was home to him and and uh, you know he is going to be a difference in the defensive line there's no question that's just two of the guys of your huge recruiting class. Kind of give us some other names of some other notable guys that you guys got. Well, you know, again, you know, in, on the offensive line, you know, Tyson Collins um, is another kid, um, you know, from the area at Parkway North. And, and you've got, um, you know, you also had, um, you know, I just, because I, I think the old line, I think, is, is key in this league. And, and uh, again, um, Justin Hedrick, for example, um, you know, Blake, uh, Roganhofer. I mean, you know, these are guys that uh, Josh Seamiles out of Camden and was one of our really our first verbal commits uh, that came up in the summer. You know, he's another guy that's a big physical and has a size where some of these guys can come in and push right away and kind of and kind of and, and kinda fight for some playing time. I think that's what we told our team when we when we uh, left over, you know, for Christmas break is we're going to be out. Uh, to push you guys and, and everybody be working hard because we're going to go out and keep trying to recruit guys that are going to be coming in here and competing against you and trying to take your spot, which I think, you know, those kids recognize that. And, uh, you know, we're seeing that transfer over into the into the field in our in our in our workouts and our winter workouts right now. Guys are really ratcheting into that up a little bit. Not just the new guys, but obviously some of the guys from last year. I, I follow you guys on Twitter and all that. I see all the workouts. You guys are working hard early in the morning, every week, all, all every day pretty much. Um, what's been the, the kind of census from you and your coaching staff about this group and how they've been working hard so far? Well, I think uh, they're starting to echo the, the, the little things. I think that's what we preach um, is the little things, the, the, the attention to detail. Um, so when we're doing workouts, we're not just showing up, but we're actually – uh, emphasizing the kids are re, are echoing that amongst themselves now about about not just getting through a workout but getting through it right and, and doing the little things. Um, there's a, a little bit of a, a sense of urgency. I think everybody was excited last year just just to do something different and and felt like. Um, but I think they recognized that uh, it wasn't good enough. Um, they started to believe us a little bit. I think you know that it's sometimes when you go through it, you look back and say you know. Yeah, we didn't do this right. We didn't do this enough. We didn't finish enough. We, and and now we're seeing that in the leadership. We've really called on our leaders on our team, uh, in this off season to step up and, and hold each other accountable. And it's just I don't know. It's just a real positive, um, exciting vibe right now with this team. And um, you know we've kind of like we've kind of remind them all the time that you know you know words are uh, what people want to be, actions are what people become. And there's a big difference in that, that we got to start working and stop talking. For all the Linwood fans out there with this new group kind of getting going, uh, kind of give them an expectation coming up this season. How excited you guys are? Well, to speak to my uh, form, previous statement, I mean, we, we're excited, but actions speak louder than words. You know, we, um, you know, it's, it's social media and it's recruiting. Everybody's excited and everybody's going to say, hey, we've got the best class uh, we've ever signed. Uh, that's probably the um, quote that every coach is saying. Uh, because that's what you say. And I always say, you know, you, we'll judge this recruiting class here in three or four years. Um, you know, you just don't know. Um, but I do know I trust uh, the valuations our, our coaches make on kids. I trust our, 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 our style. I trust our procedure on recruiting. And uh, it's, been, it's worked in the past. It'll work here. And uh, so we're excited to get these guys in and get to work. But, um, you know, I think if you're a Lindenwood fan, um, you know, it's it's recruiting's exciting. I think what they need to be really excited about is is what uh, this current team's doing right now, in in, in getting there and, and winning the first quarter of our season, which is the winner, and um, and then adding this this quality bunch of recruits to this team is is it is pretty exciting time right now. Well, that's a head coach Jed Stuger talking about National Signing Week and uh, also getting ready for spring practice. Coach, we appreciate your time and looking forward to spring and summer and, of course, uh, the football season. Thanks, TJ. We'll see you again soon. All right, we'll see you guys next time on the Linwood Sports Network.